Hi everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay, so before I'm going to start the tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. So I have here the titanium white, the uh, tallow blue, the brilliant red, and the uh, uh, medium yellow on the raw umber. So I'm using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want. And if you're using burnt china, you can mix it with red and blue to make it dark or look like black. Okay, and these are my brushes. I have here the number 12 Felbert brush. I also have here the number 10 natural bristle uh, mop brush. Number 6 Felbert brush. Number 3 um Natural Bristol Felbert Brush Number 2 Nylon Flat Brush uh, Liner Flat Brush, sorry guys And number, oh, uh, sorry guys, this is um, a palette knife, the smallest one Okay And this is my canvas, it's 8 by 12 inches, it's the Secrets of Prime White Acrylic, you can also use JSO, I made it myself and our medium is the combination of the rectif rectified rigid oil and the torpentine. Okay, here. So that will be the thinner or that will thin the, the oil paint. Okay, so I think I'm going to start now and today I'm going to paint something like a forest. But I think I'm going to put a house in it. Just a misty, something like a misty forest. Yes. That would be my plan and let's start. And if you are painting me, just follow what I'm doing and just enjoy while you're painting. So I'm going to dip here so that it will become wet or smooth. So I'm going to use a little yellow and some white. I'm gonna put it here. So let's cover it first with very light colors. I think I'm gonna try to use the palette knife. This will help um, spread the colors or the paints. Yes, and also for the mixing, you can use the palette knife. You can add some medium to thin it, to thin the paint. There. Then you can use the brush. There. Okay, I like that. So we have a, uh, a little yellowish color on the top of the forest. So it will be a very misty forest, guys. Here I'm gonna put some blue color and red to make it purple. And some more umber to make it dark. And some white. There. Just relax guys and just enjoy, okay? Enjoy every moment while you're painting. I'm gonna put some raw umber with blue and white. They make it gray, yes. There. Let's add more white. I'm gonna add more white.
So what you have to do is just spray the colors. So let's make the background very very bright or light in color. Okay, and just spread all the paints to the, to the entire area. So that it will become a little wet and it will be easier for us to put some more details later. Okay. Make sure it's just a very thin paint on this. Okay, now we're gonna put something like some. Uh, I'm thinking we're gonna put the house. I think I'm gonna put it here. Yes, here. But I'm going to put um, some background trees on the on the back of it. So I'm gonna use the raw umber and the blue color. And still using this filbert brush. Then I'm gonna put some trees in the background. There. So it's very misty background, that's why the trees are very light in colors. Okay. Can use the tapping or punching technique. So I think these trees are pine trees. There. So let's make this more light. Let's fade this one. So you can spray the color so that it will become misty, okay? There. So I'm gonna add more rumber. And let's add more here. Just use the tapping guys, and the punching technique. Now we have a background. We have a very misty background. Okay, about that. So what else? So I think I'm gonna put the house now and I'm gonna use another brush with this Yeah. I'll try to use this brush guys. It is the number three. It's is an Windsor and Newton brush foundation brush yes it's a natural visual uh, filbert so I'll try to use this one so first I'm gonna use the blue and the raw umber with red and the blue and raw umber and red and white So here, I think I'm gonna put the house here. So I'm gonna make it very misty effect of the house. There, as almost you can 
barely see it. I think it's a, a little barn. There. Yeah, it's, I think it's a barn. Now this is a barn guys And it's very misty effect so That's why it's very very light color Okay I think I'm gonna add another one on the on the distant there. It's an, uh, another part here, but let's make it misty. That's why it's very very bright in color. Make sure that the color is bright enough. Okay. Now we have some burns in the background. And you can clean your brush. And let's shoot some white. Gonna mix it here. And it's gonna put some lighter effect on the background here. That's, that's it. And also here, gonna put some white. There. Okay. Yeah, you can now see some two burns in a very, very, very misty effect. I like it. I like the misty effect, guys. So now let's gonna put some near um, object here. I think here. I'm gonna put it here. And we're gonna use a darker tones or darker colors. So I'll be using again this number 12 flat brush. And I'm gonna use some. Row umber and blue. And let's put it here. This one's still dark. We need to lessen the colors. We need to add some white. There. We need to lessen the colors. Okay, now we're gonna put some, I think, trees. Yeah, we're gonna put some happy little trees, <laughs> as Papa said. So I'm gonna use some. Um, 
Pro Amber again and blue. And it's gonna, gonna add a little medium. Let's add some white to make it lighter. And let's put some trees here. There. That's it. And put some branches. Another one. There. And let's not forget to put some leaves on the tree so again the same color use the topping of punching technique there you go use the topping technique guys or everyone Sorry, I'm sorry if I'm going to I'm going to I can't help to say the word guy. So I just say everyone, okay? <laughs> there. Uh, let's add more here. I think I'm gonna add, add one here. And it can add a little amount of leaves. It's not too much, so not cover the, the beautiful sunset or beautiful sun. There. Okay. So I think I'm gonna put um, some uh, a river here on the back of this beside beside the uh, beside these um, barns. Okay. Now it's gonna put uh, the nearest um, part of the forest. So let's make it darker. Gonna use the blue and the raw umber to make it dark here. So I'm using that the colors so it because it will become really good and dark. Let's look like black. Can I use some small raw umber? it now we're gonna put the piggies on the nearest tree so it will become it will be dark or really dark so I'll be using the raw umber and the blue so I think we're gonna put it here uh, 
that's it. These three has a really car a good character. <laughs> has a character, okay. Gonna put some beautiful branches there. You can actually use the smallest brush, it is the liner brush. put some rocks here okay now I'm gonna put one more big tree here I think this is the biggest tree And I think I'm gonna add one more tree here. Yes. Because this is a forest, you know. We should have lots of um, trees. That's it, another tree here. I think I'm gonna put um, lots of flowers on this part here. Lots of, I mean, um, leaves. I'm gonna put more branches here. Okay, how about that? Now let's start adding some um, leaves. So I'll be using the map brush. So this is a pretty good brush, guys. The map brush. So I'm gonna dip it first into the medium. And I'm gonna mix some green, so blue and yellow. And let's put some red to make it dark. More blue and yellow. And red. So I think I'm gonna put leaves here. You can again use um, the, the punching technique. Add some umber also. I 
I'm gonna add more yellow and blue to make more dark greens. Just do it slowly. So let's add more. Again guys, do not overdo it. That is the number one rule, do not overdo it. Okay, and let's not forget to add some greens here. I'm gonna use some more white because I'm gonna make this part using a palette knife I'm gonna use the I'm gonna make this part a river there Let's put some light reflection here using the palette knife. Let's add more lines here, water lines. There. Okay. I know let's add some more rocks. So let's clean first the palette knife. I'm using the palette knife now. And it's used the raw umber. Just gonna put some darker colors here.
Nakabar is part of it, bro. Then it's gonna put some highlights. So I'm gonna use I'll be using the umber and white. Some yellow and red. Add more yellow. I think I'm gonna put some reflection uh, highlights on the tree here. So just put it on the left. So let's assume that the lights come from the left side. So this one. And so this one also. Okay, now let's use some other colors like greenish, gonna use some more greens. So I'm going to retouch this part here. Let's put some green tones. There. I think I'm gonna put more um, darts on the on the river. So what else? So I think I'm gonna add more dark tones or details. I'll be using a smallest brush which is here, the number two liner brush. Let's use the raw umber with some blue color. Mix 
make it as fluid as possible using more medium So I'm gonna add more branches. I'm going to add more branches here. That's it. So it's no more darker. It's now darker compared to um, before. Okay. And also this tree here, I'm gonna put some more dark darker tones. Just gonna add more branches. That's it. So far, I like it. So I'm gonna, I'm going to add more dark tones here. Watch it. It looks creepy. <laughs>
Okay, so let's put some highlights. I'm using the this brush. It is the the map brush. So I'm going to add yellow and white to make it lighter. I'm just going to put some highlights here. There. Just put it on top of the dark tones or dark colors. So you're gonna put some plants. And also here. Okay. This is a little creepy painting. <laughs> I find it really creepy. I'll be using this brush. I'm going to add some reflection here. So I'm going to use some blue, red, and yellow, and white. So just use um, just use a stroke and downward strokes here. Create the reflections there. And also here. Okay. Then I'm going to use some more lighter color. I'm going to use some white. And it's a little lighter color here. Upward. Just use an upward stroke. There. More white here. It, it looks like water now. Okay, now I'm gonna put some white lines on the on the water. So I'm gonna use the white here, of course, using a palette knife.
magic. And also here. Okay, now I think I'm gonna add more highlights on the rocks, so I'm gonna add more white. Okay, now I think I'm gonna put some more colors on the trees or the color of the tree. So I'll be using again this, this brush, the map brush, and we'll use some more yellow and red. Let's put some colors here. Winter is coming. I oh, know, and in the autumn. Okay, just use the tapping technique and don't forget not to overdo it don't overdo it guys just put it on the top of the green colors and now we're gonna put also some red flowers here or red leaves there I'm gonna use some more red Okay, just use the topping or punching technique. That's it. And also this one, then let's not forget. I'm gonna put flowers. No, not flowers guys, but leaves. Green and leaf, uh, red leaves.
Okay. Wow, that's really nice. It looks beautiful now. There's one more here. There. And also we need to put some colors on the ground because of the um Drop um, leaves or flowers. I'm gonna put more droplets, droplets on the on the ground using the same color. Okay. About that. Anyway, that looks better now. Okay, so I think I am done, guys. So far, I love the result. Wait, I'm gonna put something. I'm gonna use this color, the grayish color here with some white. I'm gonna add more white to make it lighter and more medium. And I'm gonna put A man here. Yes, it's a man, guys. I'm not really sure what he's doing there. Okay, <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, I think I am done. So I want to say thanks again guys for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this tutorial even this feels it looks so messy and uh, still looks nice. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching and please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future and my advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you have to use your brush, the more you have to mix the colors. So I'm using multi colors in my palette because I want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay guys, thank you very much. Have a nice day and God bless you all.